To open the UEFI BIOS settings on your ASUS motherboard, when you boot up or reboot your computer, press delete or F2 on the ASUS logo screen and it will get you to the EZ mode BIOS utility screen, also known as EZ mode uh, or EZ mode uh, UEFI BIOS utility screen. In here, you need to switch this mode into the advanced mode. You can either press F7 or click on advanced mode on the bottom right hand corner and it will switch your BIOS utility to this type of screen. On the top, you will have a few tabs and we're going to select advanced tab and under advanced tab, select CPU configuration. Open this option, this section called CPU configuration. And in here, if you keep going down, you will see few options where you can change uh, the behavior of your motherboard. One of them called Intel VMX virtualization technology. So this motherboard has an Intel chipset. So the virtualization technology called Intel VMX and currently it is disabled. You need to switch that to enable from the drop down menu and then click uh, EC mode F7 to exit out of these options. And in here, you're gonna click again uh, on the bottom. Uh, we're gonna select the save and exit or F10. It'll give you a pop-up saying, hey, you have changed the Intel VMX virtualization technology from disable to enable, which is exactly what we want. And we're gonna click okay. And that will reboot your computer. And uh, this might reboot uh, your computer about uh, twice so that it is enabling it and you'll hear some clicking sounds, clicking noises uh, from your ASUS motherboard. And after that, you will have Intel virtualization enable on your device. With this, now you can use uh, your virtualized uh, machines uh, through either uh, VMware Workstation Pro or uh, some other uh, virtualization uh, software and uh, it will be able to utilize that virtualization uh, options in your um, Intel motherboard. So that's how you enable Intel virtualization on your ASUS motherboard. Thank you. If you do not have virtualization enabled in your BIOS or UEFI, you will get an error message when you try to launch your virtual machines in software such as the VMware Workstation or Oracle VirtualBox. For example, in here, if you try to launch, uh, let's say the uh, Windows Server 2022 here, I get an error message saying this host support Intel VT-X, but it is not enabled right now. And you need to go ahead and enable it through your BIOS firmware settings. So that's what happened if you do not have the Intel VTX or the AMD version of that uh, enable within your BIOS or UEFI firmware.